We're designing and building a window and a frame for an exterior door. We're going to assemble the outside part of the frame. That's coming up right now. Okay, so um, since since this is all going to be one piece, I removed the glass to prepare it for um, for gluing. And the thing about that is that the glue has to go, the glass has to get glued in um, during the gluing, but we have to do all the gluing at once. So I have some wood glue, and so I'm going to use this to apply that. And what I'll do is just. Um, Paint the sides, paint the paint the corners. You know, take some wood glue and I'll paint the corners like that. And, you know, make sure it's nice and liberal and paint all four, all eight corners. And then for the um, the glass, uh, the glue is going to get RTV, and RTV will get along here, and along here, and along here. Now, um, and then. While everything is still wet, um, we'll push it together and then lay the glass in. And then once we lay the glass in, then we'll start straightening everything out. Yeah, this is the part where, gosh, I sure hope nothing goes wrong uh, because if something does go wrong. Now, I mean, glue on the glass, that's the worst case, but I mean, you know, I can scrape that off of the scraper. But um, for the most part, it's just going to be sticky, and I'm probably going to wear gloves. And I'm going to have spare gloves because I'm probably going to want to get in there with the RTD and spread it around with my fingers and compress it into the corners here. And you know, I, I just want to make sure that RTD is everywhere. I, I can get the R extra RTD out. That's not a problem. So, and even if it gets on the glass, I can just scrape it off. It's not a problem. So, um, that's going to be the next thing. I'm going to go get uh, what I need now. I need to, well, just do it. Cut this little nipple off. I need some gloves. And then we'll start on that. Okay, so uh, I guess the question that was first, which one do you first I think? I hate to do this first, but it's going to probably be the, um, the silicone that, that's, uh, that takes the, the lines to dry. Now, I've already snipped off the head and started of cutters and just put this, but usually there's a little, um, and if you've got one of these, you'll notice that most most caulking guns come with some of this, and what that's for is popping a hole in the plastic at the bottom of this uh, the, uh, starter tube. Alright, so also gets it kind of dirty, but oh well. Okay. So, and I've already got some on my fingers. It's going to take 10 seconds. Yeah. Eh. You don't have anybody worrying about that. Gloves. Uh, okay, and it's from there. Now, let's get started with the bead here. There we go. Notice I'm putting it on, on two edges. One is the bottom where the glass is going to seat, and the other is the side. And the reason for the side, of course, is because it's where the uh, water can get in. Putting a pretty thick bead on the bottom there. I may not need to spread this around. Okay. 
heavy bead on the bottom or on the inside where the gloss is going to see and a light bead on the side That's three sides done. When I um, release the trigger, the force on this thing, usually a little bit of a little bit of caulk will come out. Uh, which means there's an air bubble in it. So you release it and it'll stop. Okay, so uh, that's that. Now I, I think I'm not going to do it. Well, maybe I will. I'm just going to cover this and and I can smell this thing. I don't think that's really needed too much spreading around here. Okay. So that's those four pieces. Alright, that's done. I probably want to put gloves on anyway because while I handle these pieces, <laughs> I'm going to get uh, RTV all over me. Now I don't want to get RTV on this part over here because those are supposed to be clean. The uh, next part, of course, is to uh, Glue on the edges. All right, so glue, cat, okay. I've got glue on both sides of this thing. Okay. Okay, so according to the instructions on for both these, I have about 30 minutes to work with this. But which means I probably have about 25 minutes left. And so I think should be plenty of time. I think what I'm going to do is just work one corner at a time and not try to be in a rush. Okay, so I already have glue on the gloves. So I have to be, actually, I don't need to be worried about anything. I just uh, I have glue on the gloves. So what? Um, I'm wondering about the boards. The boards were to get this off the table so I could spin these things. Okay, so that's that corner.
lining up this little piece right here. see some of the uh, RTD is sneaking out. And it's squeezing out. Some of the glue is also squeezing out, which is okay because I have exact lines and all kinds of stuff to get that out of the way. This, uh, very close, but not quite. Okay. Now, Having a little trouble because uh, yeah, there's a lip there. I have to fight with to get this thing to uh, cooperate. Let's go back a little bit. This one has come loose. Because all these things, I'm checking, make this 24 and 7 eighths. This is the new measurements, 24 and 7 eighths. Was 25. This one is 20, 20 and 7 eighths. Was 21. This one is 20 and 7 eighths. Was 21. Okay, so that's all good. Like I said, these are the ones that are really going to pull this whole business together. Now what I'll do is uh, Okay, there's one. And, uh, obviously I'm being pretty careful around this glass here. glasses in and there will be a little bit of cleaning needed and you can see this this doesn't uh, now everything is in very lightly and it's in very lightly because now I need to loosen these guys up Tighten these corners up. And tightening these corners is all about these guys right here. Okay. 
closer. squeezing the glue out now. Okay. Okay. Once I have the corners tightened up, I can re-tighten these guys here. Make sure this is flush over here. Stop two more sides to tighten over there. It's this. Okay. All right. We are set. Okay. So at this point, it is a a 24-hour wait. It's been pretty close to 24 hours, I would imagine. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this apart. Okay. Off. Okay, number. Okay, so now it's all these uh, these little guys here, and I don't know this is that important. To take these off. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off just to get them out of the way. Or maybe they don't stick them. <laughs> they, 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 they're probably stuck. Which wouldn't surprise me. Uh, some of the glue probably, yeah. See, some of the glue probably came down here. Let's see which one is So now we can see right there the glue isn't all the way through the metal. Okay. But the glue slipped onto the and you know, that's just no, that's just wow. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the glue is stuck to this. So I'm going to try and break this loose by uh, twisting this way. I don't want to pull up. I don't want to pull up. I want to pull this way. Mm -hmm. I may have to pull up. Oh, glue really got into that one pretty good. Let's hold off of that one. Now I'm going to glue that into that one too. Okay. Okay, big question. How are we going to get things off here? Well, you're in chisel. Alright, so. One came off. So 
looks like they uh, they're they're sticking right here. Taking a little bit of the paint too, either this paint or the other paint, but this should come off pretty easy. Yeah. Taking a little bit of the wood with it as well. Okay, so this can be cleaned up. Uh, some of these pieces probably need to be. That's nice and. Yeah, I definitely need sanding. I've got an exacto knife here. This this kit must be 40, 50 years old. And I think what's uh, so I've got the exacto knife. And of course, what we're gonna do is just get it right up against the glass there. It should come right out. need to get and this, this this will be gone oh, that is good. Okay. It will be completely invisible to uh, anyone who looks at it because there's going to be another piece in here okay so trash that Thanks for watching my program. If you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for an organized listing of my YouTube videos, go to my website, www.wheremyplacebos.com, and click on videos. Have a great day.